My name is Boyd McMakin and I'm with PPL Motorhomes. Today I'm here with Jeff Holstetler. Uh, Jeff's with Tom Manning and Associates and one of the products that they represent is the Marshall line. Marshall deals with a lot of LP regulators and pigtails and uh, extended stays and that sort of thing. Uh, we're going to be talking about one of the problems that some fifth wheels and travel trailers have with high flow issues on the propane side. So typically we would see this is a this is a high pressure regulator switch over with the pigtails. What would we typically see in an RV? Because this is not typical, but what would we typically see? Right. Normally what you'd see and we would have seen for decades is a silver uh, auto changeover regulator. Right. The auto changeover regulator is used anytime there's two cylinders on the on the RV. On the RV, yeah. yeah. So you'd have, you'd have two cylinders, you got pigtails attached, and typically you would see a green connection. And right. We're going to get that into that in just a second. But why, why would somebody want or need a high flow regulator? What's the difference between the silver regulator and the high flow regulator? Sure. So the green is a higher capacity. So the silver regulator is rated at 225,000 BTUs, where the, sil where the green, I'm sorry, is uh, rated as high as 350,000 BTUs. So the capacity is much higher. The other reason that capacity is important is when we're using uh, running appliances that are very high BTU load, what will happen a lot of times is those appliances will ignite, uh, they'll run for a couple minutes and then they shut off. They shut and they off. repeatedly do this because it sucks the line dry to get it to ignite and the delivery system, the regulator, cannot replenish and recharge that line quick enough to keep the appliance running. And what I'm assuming we're seeing, you know, 40 years ago or, you know, previously in the industry, you know, we may have had a refrigerator and a water heater and a one furnace, but now in the industry, we've got multiple furnaces, we have on-demand water heaters. Um, what, what else is big that's well, pulling? propane generators, another huge uh, load of BTUs that's required to that's operate. That's required to operate. operate, yeah. So some manufacturers may have just undersized the regulator or in some cases, I know you're telling me a story about uh, someone that had contacted you that added a generator, and then the generator ran for a short period of time and then wouldn't run, right. and then it would start up again, run for a short period of time and wouldn't run, and that was a high flow problem, right? A capacity problem. A capacity yes, problem, right? Because right. we're going for from from the low 200s to 350 BTU, 350,000 sure. BTU or something like right. this, right? Um, so, so why the red connections? Right, so in these uh, pigtails, the end here is called a QCC, quick connect coupler. They have what's called an access flow check valve. It's a safety so that if this line ever became severed, it would shut the flow of gas off. By code, the green pigtails that we commonly see in RV applications are rated at 200,000 maximum flow on BTUs. That means that the green pigtail cannot exceed 200,000 BTUs. Well, if we're going to install a, a regulator that has a 350,000 BTU capacity, right, right. 200,000 BTUs would be a weak link. So we have to upgrade when we go to the higher capacity to a red pigtail because the excess flow in the red pigtails are rated as high as 400,000 400, BTUs. Right, which is more than this regulator That's is here. So right. you're not going to have a problem with that flow. Correct. Yeah. So I can definitely see, I know that here at PBL we sell a, a ton of on-demand water heaters. Uh, we also sell a ton of generators, LP generators, sure. and people are hooking those up in fifth wheels and travel trailers. And I can see when they get that installed that now their old regulator is not going to handle those problems. So they're going to have to come and get something like this yes. to solve that area. That is correct. Yeah. So I, I know that's been a problem of ours here, and I just wanted to, to show the people what the differences are in that. Sure. All right. Appreciate it, Jeff. Thank you.